Have you heard of Yu Gong the Silly Old Man? His story is one of the most famous Chinese legends passed down through generations. It's a tale that teaches us about perseverance and determination, no matter how insurmountable the odds may seem. Yu Gong wanted to move mountains. People laughed at him, thinking he was foolish and unrealistic. They couldn't understand why an old man would take on such an impossible task. Mountains are huge, and Yu Gong was old. The mountains stood tall and imposing, a symbol of the seemingly impossible challenges we all face in life. But Yu Gong kept digging, a little bit every day. He believed that with consistent effort, even the biggest obstacles could be overcome. His determination was unwavering. His sons helped him, and his grandsons too. It became a family effort, a shared mission that brought them closer together. They all believed in Yu Gong's vision and worked tirelessly alongside him. Many years passed and the emperor heard about Yu Gong. The story of the old man's determination spread far and wide, reaching the ears of the most powerful man in the land. The emperor was so impressed with Yu Gong's never give up attitude that he sent gods to help. The gods, moved by Yu Gong's perseverance, descended from the heavens to assist in moving the mountains. And guess what? The mountains moved. Through the combined efforts of Yu Gong, his family, and the divine intervention, the once immovable mountains were relocated. The story of Yu Gong is a story with a hidden meaning. It's not just about moving mountains but about the power of persistence and the impact of collective effort. It's about never giving up, even when something seems impossible. It teaches us that with determination, hard work, and the support of others, we can achieve great things. This never give up attitude is still important in China today. From massive engineering projects to everyday challenges, the spirit of Yu Gong lives on, inspiring people to tackle the impossible. China is changing the way its land looks. Really, the transformation is nothing short of extraordinary. Mountains are being moved, not by gods but by big machines. These machines are reshaping the very face of the earth. Cities are getting bigger and there's not enough land. Urban expansion is a priority, and the landscape must adapt to meet the needs of a growing population. The mountains are in the way. These natural barriers are being removed to make room for new developments. So, China is moving them. This involves a massive effort with heavy machinery working around the clock. This is happening all over China, in the mountains of Guizhou and even on the flatlands of Inner Mongolia. It's a huge job. The scale of these projects is almost unimaginable. They move tons and tons of dirt and rocks to make new land. The sheer volume of earth being relocated is staggering. It shows how good China is at building things. The engineering prowess on display is a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Behind these massive machines are skilled workers and meticulous planning. Every detail is carefully considered to ensure the success of these monumental projects. The transformation is dramatic. What was once rugged terrain is now prime real estate ready for new cities to rise. The future of urban development in China is being built today. These new cities are not just bigger, but smarter and more sustainable, designed to meet the needs of future generations. Lanzhou is a city in northwest China, surrounded by mountains with the Yellow River flowing through it. The city is nestled in a narrow valley, which means there's not much space for expansion. This geographical constraint has posed significant challenges for urban development. So what did they do? They moved the mountains to make more room for buildings. This ambitious project involved the use of advanced construction machinery to flatten the surrounding hills. The process was not only labor-intensive but also required meticulous planning and execution. Thousands of hills have been flattened. The transformation is astonishing, with new buildings now standing where mountains once loomed. This has allowed Lanzhou to expand its urban area significantly, accommodating more residents and businesses. Yan'an is another city in the area. Unlike Lanzhou, Yan'an is renowned for its historical significance. It served as the headquarters of the Chinese Communist Party during the Revolutionary Period. It's famous for its history with the Chinese Communist Party. The city is dotted with historical sites and monuments that attract numerous visitors each year, eager to learn about its revolutionary past. It's also changing a lot. In recent years, Yan'an has seen a surge in construction activities. New buildings are springing up, and the city is undergoing a significant transformation. They're reshaping mountains and building new parts of the city. Just like in Lanzhou, the mountains around Yan'an are being altered to make way for urban development. This reshaping is a testament to the city's commitment to modernization. It's like mixing history with the modern world. The juxtaposition of historical landmarks with modern infrastructure creates a unique blend, making Yan'an a city where the past and the present coexist harmoniously. The Human Cost 
Making progress isn't always easy. Moving mountains means people have to move too. Villages are knocked down and lives are changed. Farmers lose their farms and their jobs. They have to find new ways to live. Some people like the changes because there are new jobs, but for others it's like losing a part of their history. We can't forget that progress can be hard on people. It reminds us that progress shouldn't hurt people. The price of progress. Moving mountains has other problems too. People are worried about the environment, there's lots of dust, animal homes are destroyed, and wild animals are affected. It messes up nature's balance. Some people say these projects are not good because they only think about the short term and the problems they cause are bigger than the good things. The Chinese government says these projects are important for the country to grow but, not everyone agrees. Finding harmony. A delicate balance. China's mountain moving projects are really big they show how much the country is growing but they also make us think, how much should we change nature? What is the real price of progress? China is trying to find a balance between growing and keeping nature safe between moving forward and saving what we have. It's a tough problem that will affect China's future, and the whole world is watching.